worldwide over um, 50 percent just now is coming um, from aquaculture, um, but we're ranking 17th um, as far as worldwide production of aquaculture. So we're behind a number of countries um, such as China, um, a lot of the European countries, and other um, Southeast Asian countries. I think there's a, a number of reasons for that. One might be that um, the U.S. has a lot of technology. They have the technology to be able to farm fish. Um, shellfish is one of the industries that's rapidly uh, increasing in the United States, shellfish production. But I think it's lagged behind. Um, there are some regulatory issues historically that have presented challenges. Um, uh, I would say more recently, we just had in 2016, um, the initiative from NOAA to open offshore cage farming in the Gulf of Mexico. Prior to that, um, we didn't have any initiatives for that. Uh, I would say that as far as culturally speaking, um, the U.S. has not been, their primary protein source has not been coming from fish. Um, it's been beef, cattle, um, you know, swine and poultry, uh, where other um, Asian countries, that's the primary uh, food source, protein source is through fish. Species that we're working with right now, uh, one is the Almaco jack. That has a lot of potential for, uh, I think, aquaculture. It's a fast-growing species. Um, they've been growing it in uh, cage culture for some time, um, and I think that it's uh, a lot of people recognize that fish, um, and it's a fast grower, so that's a good one. Uh, another one would be uh, pompano. Uh, they're also another fast grower, another species that we work with here uh, at the aquaculture park. Uh, and redfish, uh, red drum, uh, we've been using those in our aquaponics system where we are growing uh, saltwater plants and fish together um, in a sustainable system. So the snook project, uh, common snook is for stock enhancement, so or stock replenishment. So we're raising those um, individuals to put back out in the local bay in order to uh, use them as a model um, to see how uh, supplementary fisheries is impl impacting the fishery. Regulation would be one of them. Uh, I also think consumer education is a really important one as far as aquaculture products go. Um, educating folks about um, the benefits of seafood um, and in terms of health. Um, I think those are some of the big the challenges. Um, just getting people to know um, that fish farming or shellfish farming can be done sustainably um, and in an economically feasible way um, are some of the challenges. I think it depends on the species that you're talking about. Um, definitely, aquacultured fish can be just as nutritionally viable um, as um, wild-caught fish. Um, there's a lot of different nutritional value, um, just like there would be um, with any type of food. So, uh, But I believe that uh, definitely they can also be um, just as healthy.